Welcome to Vintage Movie Night in our virtual auditorium. I am not showing Hollywood films that whitewash U.S. history, although that could easily fill a big program. Except for this one hideous example you're seeing on the screen now, 1915's Birth of a Nation, one of the worst Hollywood films ever made. The history it shows is demented and actually helped lead to a resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan. That's sort of the baseline of the worst of whitewashing American history. Instead of that, I plan on to show you more subtle forms of whitewashing history using clips from public domain films that millions of Americans would have seen in classrooms and other settings. America, asleep through the ages. Vast primeval America, land of freedom and of hope. A new home for the white man in his age-old migration westward. It wasn't so long ago in the history of man's voyage toward a better world that ships were carrying eager passengers toward the shores of a new nation that was just in the building. If you've ever been in one of our southern states, you may have taken a sightseeing trip just as this family. A trip to see one of the plantation homes that were built before the Civil War. In nearly 200 years since the colonies began, there had been settled only a narrow strip along the coast. The new United States was a long, thin country with an unplumbed continent at her back. But then that driving urge came welling up. In the heady air of freedom, it could not be contained. We came here and created a blank slate. We, we birthed a nation from nothing. I mean, there was nothing here. I mean, yes, we have Native Americans, but, if, but candidly, that, that, there isn't much Native American culture in American culture. I'm going to California. How are we doing now at teaching what we're talking about today? When you have laws against teaching critical race theory, there are laws in certain um, states right now that would prohibit this conversation we're having because people have bought into this idea of whiteness and purity and that their an ancestors could never have possibly have done these horrific things, you know, uh, pass laws and use violence. What we saw on January 6th, that was what used to happen in lynch mobs in this country on a regular basis. I just gave a lecture at Monticello uh, the first time I went to Monticello and I simply asked the guide where the slave quarters were in relation to the house, uh, the guide yelled at me about trying to destroy the reputation of a great man, uh, Thomas Jefferson. Then this time, the guide spends a great deal of time talking about Jefferson's relationship to Sally Hemings and the children he had with Sally Hemings. And the guide talks about the importance of the enslaved people uh, at Monticello, we are better than we were. Uh, you know, the statue of Robert E. Lee and Jefferson Davis are no longer in Richmond. Um, I mean, I, th I think these are important steps, um, but are we where we want to be? Of course not. 